Victor's revenge unleashed, Cole and Michael face his wrath. On the young and the restless, Victor's simmering rage boils over as he sets his sights on those who dared to protect him. Cole and Michael thought they were helping, but now they're about to pay the price. Meanwhile, Ashley delves into her past trauma, Audra's plans backfire spectacularly, and new romances ignite in Genoa City. Don't miss the drama unfold on YNR. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victor schemes to get even with Cole and Michael. They'll pay for attempting to assist him. Spoilers for Monday, June 10's episode of The Young and the Restless continue to highlight Victor's determination to exact revenge on those who dared to reveal his misdeeds, all the while trying to shield him from any negative fallout. Those self-serving betrayers. Everyone bows before Zod. Not, oh, no, my aunt is being kept prisoner by a madman, was Cole's initial thinking upon seeing Jordan chained up in Victor's wine cellar. No, Cole's initial concern was how to prevent Victor from getting charged with kidnapping. Cole hurried over to Michael. Was Michael's initial reaction. Oh no. I have to report this crime or I'll lose my license to practice law, as an officer of the court? No. The first thing Michael thought of was, how can we make sure Victor stays safe? But was Victor satisfied with that? It wasn't, that's for sure. Victor fails to recognize that two people risked their own jail time in order to save him. Enough, Victor observes two persons who did not prioritize him. He will now force them to pay for it. Journeying through time. Alan feels quite certain to say that Ashley's changes were not caused by the terrible experience with Martin, even though he wasn't present during the tragedy and didn't know his own twin brother was posing as him and treating patients. That it had to be something from her early years. Ashley is sent by Alan to a convenient clinic where they would assist her in solving the problem. She must be prepared to go deeply first and see whether she can remember experiencing any more trauma. Alternatively, she could choose to move past it and carry on with her life. Who wants to wager on Ashley's decision-making process? Hold on a minute. Zuleika Silver's fiancé, Audra, believed she had worked out a method to steal Tucker's company. She was so sure of herself that she told Tucker everything. Which meant, naturally, that Tucker now understood how to stop her. That is what he is doing, then. Audra is also a little taken aback. The next update for today. Nikki admits that Adam and Victoria land in familiar territory. Spoilers for Tuesday, June 11's episode of The Young and the Restless indicate that Victor Newman will try a new business-related strategy. Victor's upcoming narrative for Newman Enterprises seems to be connected to his rivalry with Chabot and Jack Abbott. It would be fascinating to see how Victor's family members respond when he gets them together to talk about this new approach. Victoria Newman would see this as evidence as she has previously expressed concerns about Victor having a dubious plot in the works. On Tuesday's Y&R program, Nick Newman will probably have something to say as well, but for the time being, we want to concentrate on Adam Newman because he will be visiting Victoria, who is a familiar face. That gives the impression that Adam and Victoria's conflict will flare up again. Victor may even deliberately stir things up since he believes Victoria belongs at Newman Enterprises and wants to entice her back there. Victoria might be more likely to go back to Newman and keep an eye on things if she believes Adam will give in to his worst impulses as a result of whatever Victor is cooking up. Since Nikki Newman will be thinking a lot when she meets with Lauren Fenmore Baldwin, let's talk about her next. Nikki will have the opportunity to discuss some news and possibly get some guidance at this time. As Jack Abbott steps down as Nikki's sponsor, Lauren will be informed, therefore she might conclude that Diane Jenkins Abbott is involved in some way. Nikki won't hold it against Jack, though, since he has already sacrificed a great deal for his family. 
To ensure that Nikki entered treatment, Jack compromised his own sobriety, therefore, she will understand why he must now take a step back. Having said that, a portion of Nikki might be concerned about switching to another sponsor. Nikki may also admit that she worries about Victor's unresolved animosity against Jack, which seems to be growing worse rather than going away. Even while Nikki is adamant about keeping Jack as a friend, she might know that problems may lie ahead if Victor is unable to let go of the past. That might result in Nikki delivering a disconcerting forecast about the Abbots and Newmans eventually coming to blows again. According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Michael Baldwin will undoubtedly raise some red flags about Victor's disagreement with Jack. Keep an eye out for him alerting Lauren later. The next update for today. Audra, Tracy, and Phyllis are three new couples on The Young and the Restless that need to get together right now. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, love in Genoa City may get dirty, but it's also frequently the key to fantastic drama and interesting storylines. Let's talk about three pairings that need to happen as soon as possible because there are undoubtedly some ladies in GC who could need fresh romantic interests. 1. Nate and Audra For what seems like forever, YNR has been hinting at a potential Audra Charles and Nate Hastings collaboration. Will it ever actually come to pass? There's no doubting that Nate and Audra have some hot chemistry, but only time will tell. Given the explosive nature of Audra and Tucker McCall's, Trevor St. John, relationship, the show would be wise to capitalize on it. It will be fascinating to watch if Audra and Nate end up dating since this is her chance to give herself up to him. 2. Alan and Tracy After getting to know Alan Loran, fans would like to see him stay on the show and develop a romantic relationship. Could Alan be Tracy Abbott's ideal match? For years, fans have been pulling for her to find love once more. It's important to note that Tracy and Alan have become close friends as a result of their collaborative efforts to support Ashley Abbott through her mental health crisis. The fact that Alan and Tracy have been getting along while in Paris might be key. Tracy and Alan even have a tender moment on the June 7th show where they held hands, so perhaps they are a new couple to consider. Imagine Tracy, after all this time, finally finding a smart, attractive boyfriend. 3. Tucker and Phyllis Tucker McCall needs to put her healing first even though she still has feelings for Ashley. Since Tucker became unintentionally involved in Ashley's tragedy, it might be best to avoid getting back together with him even if she has recovered to her previous self. Tucker may as well move on, Audra was always a rebound for his lonely self. They should definitely just commit to Tucker and Phyllis Summers as a couple as the program has played around with the concept of them together previously. Due to their cunning natures, Phyllis and Tucker have a fascinating spark that may develop into a meaningful relationship if only they would give each other a chance. Which other passionate pairs do you hope to see in Genoa City? What significant couple forecasts do you have? We'll keep you informed about any new pairing rumors that may surface because spoilers for the young and the restless hint that some entertaining love storylines are in the pipeline. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.